Hello everybody. December 31. I think it's January 1 in Australia. So um, the irony of ego, the way we're talking here, the irony of ego is that we always see fault in ourselves. One of the main pains of dissatisfaction is that we're dissatisfied. You know, and it's kind of interesting, isn't it? And especially the way we look. I mean, this is just very, very fascinating. Whenever we look at ourselves, we see the bad things. We, the, the aversion in us exaggerates certain aspects and sees them as bad. And we can see this is just a bottomless pit. So how do you fix this, you know? Well, first is to stop believing it, and this is pretty shocking. We believe in whatever we see. We believe the name that we give something. We believe that label, and it's so automatic. So we never think we're enough. We never think we have enough. We never think we've achieved enough. We never think we, you know, this is, this is the tragedy. And then we believe in it. So how do you change that? Well, by stopping, first one, stop believing it. Of course, it's not easy, but you have to start doubting it. You know, you have to start doubting it and then slowly kind of do a new script, a new script, you know, start to see positive things. It sounds so corny. It sounds like Pollyanna, but it's unbelievably true. And when we can do it for ourselves, then we can do it in the world. Which doesn't mean you're living in la-la land. It doesn't mean you can't see there are problems. Absolutely. In fact, you see them more clearly because it's not through the lens of anger, not through the lens of aversion. You're seeing more the truth. And then because it's all the beings in the world in being in the same way, harming themselves and harming others, then you have compassion, you know. That's it, you know, slowly, 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 slowly. A bird needs two wings, wisdom and compassion. And the compassion wing can only come up properly when we've done it on ourselves. Learn to see the good things, learn to grow our qualities, learn to know we're not set in stone, slowly kind of mould our minds into the shape we like, reconstruct ourselves. We have to know we've got the potential. That's the starting point, isn't it? So start with that, you know.